When I hear the term sensual hair, automatically my mind thinks straight, sleek, and pressed. This clearly serves as a problem for me though since my hair is pretty much anything but that. I was actually watching recent videos of myself and I realized that I had been trying to solve this issue by flattening and removing all frizz from my hair. And although the result was sleeker, it lacked sex and sexiness. So my first step towards my sensual self was finding a hairstyle that celebrated my unique femininity. And because I had to fix a few things, including my own perception, I decided that I needed more than a hairdresser, I needed a doctor. Capella Salon is located in North LA and it employs many professional stylists and colorists. But today, I came to see the owner, the curl doctor, Shai Amel. With decades of experience cutting, shaping, and healing coils and curls, I knew if anybody knew how to get the best out of my hair, it was this man right here. I fell in love with Shai almost upon meeting him, and here is exactly why. And I don't like to follow rules. I don't like to follow equations saying, you know, if you have this look, you should have that. Nobody should be limited. You should have fun with your hair, um, enjoy it, and always open to be to experimenting with it. Well, sign me up. In our initial consultation, I was told two things. One. It's a little clumpy here. Yeah. So I think if we release the weight here, it just feel a little fuller. So, How do I get the back to sort of stand up? A um, if we layer your hair, all this part here, we'll just lift a little more. Uh, there's some short pieces here, but the interior here is really bulky. So I think by releasing the weight, it'll just have better movement. And two. I think if we add some gold to it, it'll be really pretty. Just a lot of tips that are a little lighter. That'll be really good. Shai has a very special way of cutting curls, but I will let him do all the explaining. The way that I cut curly hair is I cut individual ringlets, and I do the curl by curl method, where you take individual curls and you snip the tips of each curl. Um, this way you are able to create more volume or movement and you only trim what is bad, so you don't have to cut big chunks of hair. Uh, when hair shrinks, especially curly hair, it's not very predictable, so you never know how it's gonna shrink. So definitely see how the hair falls and trim it so it falls in place. We did a cleanse today to remove some buildup. Uh, most curly girls tend to load the hair with silicones or oils that weigh the hair down, uh, preventing movement and balance and fluffiness. Um, it takes a couple applications of uh, the proper cleansers and conditioners to remove all the buildup. So today with Shannon's hair, we cleansed it, removed all the buildup, and we hydrated it. And then we applied a little bit of the conditioner as a styling product with a little bit of gel, because I did want the curls to shrink a little bit to allow it to have more volume. And we diffused it, creating a lot more movement around the face, lifting the crown to give the hair a lot more body. And once that dried, we shook it and fluffed it up to get it to expand a little more. Curly hair has personality. It's not just your typical standard look. Every curly girl has a different look. So it makes you look more unique. We didn't color my extensions just yet, but here is the result of my brand new cut. After I left the salon, I took way more than a new appreciation for fab, fluffy hair. I also took some tips. One, dry your hair with a cotton t-shirt and never a towel. Two, apply your product immediately after the shower while your hair is still sopping wet. At this point, the product is already in my hair. Now these products are not recommended by Shy, but they are what I have been using and have been enjoying of late. Next, I blow dried my hair and began another new technique I was taught of separating defined and dry curls to add volume. So this is how my hair looks before adding my colored extensions. Shai used a mix of techniques from highlighting to ombre and four different colors to give the curls dimension and shine. You're going to notice when they're actually in my hair how the color makes its greatest impact by giving my curls enhanced definition and shine. And in the end, there you have it, my truly sensual and sumptuous hair. I didn't stray too far away from my preferred style, but rather I chose a cut and color that accentuated the place of my hair pattern. I gotta be honest with you guys, I really felt super hot and I enjoyed the extra volume and effortlessness of the look. In the end, my hair is making me feel truly sensual and as Shai puts it, healthy sensual curls to me mean hair that moves when the hair, uh, when you shake your head, if you're outside and it's windy, it's nice to have some frizz actually. That means you're, you've been, you know, playing with your hair, touching your hair, the hair's blowing in the wind. 
Uh, definitely hair that has life and movement.